Well, the world did not end on Tuesday, the 8th of August. In fact, Jacob Zuma didn't end his presidency either. And I must tell you, I am very relieved because, first of all, I watched it. Uh, well, you watched it on television, but I watched it from the gallery. I was still wearing my apron because I prepared all the food for afterwards, knowing that they have to eat something. And we all expected, well, we didn't know what to expect. And of course, the, uh, the speaker looked very nice. She'd been to the hairdresser very seriously, mooi gelijk. And I think the whole thing worked relatively well, considering that everybody expected it to be chaos. No, we leave the chaos to the White House. Our parliament was uh, very democratic and 21 votes short of what people expected, which is a good thing, because now come December, the ANC can do it their way. And their way means very boring, not a big headline, but eventually uh, in their Congress, in our Congress, we can um, move on to the next step. Uh, so frankly, even the Sunday papers, it's only one Sunday paper that has a mention of it. All the other papers have gone a little bit further into the future, meaning that Tuesday the 8th of August is far in the past. But you know, today we have to look further than South Africa. Today we have to look into the rest of the world. And that's why I've got the world with me here, because I want you to just realize where we are. Where are we? There we are. South Africa. Can you listen? South Africa. And of course, there we see on that side is South America and there is the United States. And of course, the White House is in Washington. And over here is North Korea, which is being run by a very funny looking man. We, I call him Hu Flung Dang because uh, I can't pronounce his real name. Um, and there is the threat of a third world war. What can I tell you? There is a threat of a third world war because Donald Trump has had such a bad presidency in the last 200 days <laughs> that to divert attention, he's going to press a button and he is going to explode North Korea. Now, yeah, what is that going to do to us? Are we too far south to really worry about these things? Listen, my dear friends, the world ends all the time because today becomes tomorrow and our children still have to go to school and we still have to pay our taxes and we still have to look over the fence into our neighbor's house. So don't panic about what's happening in the Northern Hemisphere. Look after what's happening around the corner. And I can promise you, at least Jacob Zuma won't press a red button and send ballistic missiles anywhere. <laughs> Thank heavens for the Guptas. They've sold all our missiles to North Korea. Well, let's see where we are for the rest of our lives. Evita, Evita, and you know what we mean. Evita, Evita, always on the scene. Evita, Poseidon, oh, Evita should be queen. <laughs> 